Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm actually very excited about and I got a couple requests to continue doing my Makeup 101 series. So this is going to be the next installment in that and it is a beginner style video focused at the cat eye, smoky eye, basically what I like to call the eyeshadow base which for me is your transition and your deep outer V. So I'm going to walk through how to do that and how that is basically the basis for like 90% of the eyeshadow looks that I do and most people do. That includes cut creases, that includes cat eyes, that includes smoky eyes, that basically includes everything that's not a halo eye. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching. And please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload twice a week and that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna be using the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia today because I mean, it has a lot of neutrals in it, but more importantly, it is one of those palettes that so many people have. So I'm gonna be using this for the entire tutorial today, but this look translates to pretty much everything. So I've already set down my eyes and I have uh, set down the primer with a translucent powder. So the first thing I do is with a fluffy brush, I go into my transition shade, which in this palette is going to be the burnt orange right here. And I'm just going to take one, that's it, tap it off. And I'm just going to fluff that all over the crease area because this is my transition shade. So the whole purpose of this shade is it's just going to help everything else blend together. And you see how it already just kind of gave you this smooth definition? That's the whole purpose of this shade, just to start giving you an idea of where everything's going to go. And then once you start layering colors over it, it's actually going to help them blend a little more seamlessly. So I know that a lot of people like to joke around and Brandon, I'll link the video he made making fun of me down below where he used like 30 transition shades. When you use a lot of shades, it kind of cheats the eye. So I could blend this out. In reality, you could take one deep brown eyeshadow, put it where you want it and just blend the hell out of it until you get a perfect seamless transition. Or you can just layer shadows and get gradually darker and save yourself a whole lot of time because otherwise you'd be blending forever. Then going into a slightly smaller brush, I'm gonna go into a shade that is slightly darker. In this case, I'm gonna be going into Juan Fresco, which is a cool toned shade. And now the purpose of the second shade is this is just gonna to start to define the eye. So last time with a fluffy brush, I kind of went sloppily all over this entire area. This time I'm going to gently put that shadow into the crease and blend it up to the crease but onto the top portion of the lid. Now you don't want this shade to go everywhere because that kind of defeats the purpose of your transition. So you're just going to gently blend this back and forth in circular motions. And if you notice, all that's gonna do is continue to build this shape on the outer eye, which is going to trick it into looking bigger. And it's also gonna just give you that shadow. Now I know a lot of people like to think that the whole purpose of eyeshadow is to add color to your eyes and you're not wrong but if you just i mean think of everybody in middle school and i don't mean now i mean those of us who struggled in middle school with just one smear of blue eyeshadow on the lid yes color is important and if you want to do a blue lid that is very possible and i love a blue lid i will link a video down below no i'll probably forget but i will intend to link a video down below where i do a blue look because it looks great but if you don't gradually build into it, it's gonna look trashy. So now that we have this general shape on the same brush, I'm going to go into antique, no, that's a shimmer shade, I didn't want that. I'm gonna go into red ochre, which is right here, but instead of taking that the way I did on the flat portion of the brush, I'm going to go right into it from the top, and then I'm just going to press that right into the socket of the eye and just blend. And what this is gonna do is it's just gonna give a red hint to the browns and warm them up a little bit. Now, once you've blended that out, you're then gonna wanna start dragging that into the inner corner just to give a little bit of definition. Not much, you do wanna concentrate like 99% of that color here, but once there's like nothing on your brush, then you drag it in. And then just to build up that transition, going back into the first brush, I'm gonna tap into my transition shade and just blend out the edges so that we have a nice smooth blend and no harsh lines. So now, so far we have used our transition shade, which is just fluffy and everywhere. 
We have done our first definition shade, which is flat and up on the lid. And then we've taken our crease color right into the crease to build it up. Now, at this point, there are only two shades left. If you wanna like build up your browns a little more, you totally can. But for me, this is where I go to my last two, which is my deepest shade and my shimmer shade or lid shade, because you can do a matte. So I'm gonna take the deepest brown on a flat synthetic brush, and I'm just going to tap into the pan once. And you see how much that picked up? Tap off the product. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place that on the outer portion of the eye, and I'm just going to buff that up to the crease and pull it into this V shape on the lid. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that brown and I'm just gonna take that shade down to the lash line and just build it up a little bit more. Then going back into Juan Fresco with the tip of the shader brush, we are just going to blend out the edges. Okay. Next is your lid shade. So you can go in with a matte white, you can go in with a shimmer color. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this shade right here, Vermeer, and I'm gonna take that, I'm actually gonna take it dry because it is a very intense shade. And I'm just going to press that on the inner portion of the lid, but I'm not gonna wet it because that would be a little more intense than I'm going for today. I kind of want this subtle shimmer, but I do want it to be a lighter shade than the lid because I do want it to pop a little bit. And once that's on, going back into your synthetic brush, you just want to blend away the edges on the entire crease. And once that's done, Going back into that brown shade, you're just going to re-intensify the outer portion of the eye and blend that onto the lid because you did all of this blending and all of this time building up the shade of the eye. It would be an absolute waste if you were to just throw a shimmer on top and get rid of all of that blending. And then one more time, you just want to blend out the edges and then the last thing I like to do is I like to go into the synthetic brush that I put my shimmer on with, but instead of putting more product on it, I just take it and I blend that shimmer a little bit over where that brown meets it, just to give you this gradual gradient and give you this seamless look. So I'm going to throw on some lashes and mascara on the top, and then we'll go on to the lower lashes to tie this together and I will show you all of the ways you can change this up to make it a million different looks. Okay, so these are definitely a little more extreme than I was anticipating, but when you get new lashes and you really wanna put them on, that's what happened. These are uh, Mykonos from Lily Lashes. Anyway, so the first thing I'm gonna do for the lower lash line is on that fluffy brush. I'm just going to wipe off the product so there's nothing else on there. I'm going to start by taking our transition shade and I'm just going to gently run that on the entire lower lash line. Now this is where things can change. If you want a smoky eye, you can throw some black in the waterline and blend it out. If you want to do something a little bit more neutral, you don't have to and you can just kind of leave it there. But today I'm going to take a flat brush with some of that brown and I'm going to take that directly into the waterline Then on a pencil brush, I'm going to dip into antique bronze right here, and I'm gonna use that to blend out the lower lash line. And that's already making this top heavy look look a little bit less intense. Not much, but a little. Then just to tie this whole thing together, I'm gonna to take this shade right here. This is raw sienna, which is like a neutral transition shade and I'm gonna run that under all those other shades just to smoke it out a little bit okay no these lashes are a little intense I'm gonna go change these into something a little bit less over the top and I'll be right back okay so I know those don't look all that different but they're a little wispier so you can kind of see through them and actually see what's going on on the eye shape 
but I do want to play up the lower lash line a little bit more. So what I'm gonna take is I'm gonna go into that brown shade again, and I'm just going to smoke the lower lash line a little more. Then I'm just gonna throw a little bit of black in the waterline. Now normally I would have done that first, but I did not expect this to be such a top heavy look. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that brown and just blend that out. Okay, so now we have a delightfully smoky eye. Now this is where I'm gonna go through all the different ways you can change this up. So first thing, where we went in with that light transition shade and you buff that everywhere, keep it always. No matter what I do, I go in with a neutral transition shade. This is where you mix it up. Instead of going into your medium brown, dark brown shimmer, you could do pink, purple, and shimmer, and now you have a purple smoky eye. You can change it to blues with greens. You can do olive on the outer corner and then brown to deepen it up. You can play with this technique a million different ways to get about a thousand different eye looks and then some. Now, the way you can take this is you can have a more neutral on the eye. You can take a matte shade on the lid and you can make it very wearable and very daytime. Or you can really smoke out this lower lash line like this and really take it into that evening territory. Now, also, this is the point where before I put the shimmer shade on, I would go into a concealer and this is where you would cut the crease. Now, I'll do another video dedicated entirely to cut creases, but the general principle is exactly this. But instead of going right into your shimmer shade, you cut the crease just to give you that extra vibrancy. And I would go just a little bit darker on that brown if you were to do that. So the last thing, just to tie up the look all together, is I'm going to go into the matte shade, the Tempra, which is the lightest matte shade. And I'm gonna take that just to highlight the brow bone. I prefer highlighting the brow bone with a matte shade as opposed to a shimmer, just to kind of give you that pop of color right at the arch. But I wouldn't want like shimmer there. And then as always, going into Flexitarian from ColourPop, I would highlight the inner corner. And you see how that just opens up the eye, especially when you go so dark on the outer V and so big on the lashes, a bright inner corner will really help to kind of sell this bright open eye without it getting too like gross and dark. So that is it. Make sure to leave me a comment down below if this was helpful or what you guys wanna see next. I don't know why I always do this with my hands. Leave me a comment down below of what you wanna see next in this intro series. I hope this was helpful. I seriously do this type of a look all the time. I just substitute out some of the colors for other ones um, all the time. Like if I wanna do a purple smoky eye, if I wanna do any real smoky eye, this is the general technique I'll use. I'll just change up the colors here and there. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.